Some people doubt that our Earth is spinning and orbiting the Sun. They claim that it's impossible for our planet to move at a speed of 30 kilometers or almost 20 miles per second. After all, this is about 107,000 kilometers or 66,000 miles per hour. And that's an incredible speed. Many people therefore say, we should be able to feel this insanely fast motion. When we ride a bicycle, we feel the wind blowing in our face, which is a proof that we're moving. Riding a horse, we feel our speed with every movement the horse makes. Sitting in a car, we get pushed into the seats when accelerating, tilted to the side when cornering and pulled forward when braking. And in a train, the view from the window shows us how fast we are whizzing through the countryside. And the Earth is moving even very much faster. Every year, our planet travels around 940 million kilometers or 580 million miles as it orbits the Sun. What's more, they say, we would all have to fall off the Earth's surface if this were true. And that is why they say, it is a lie that the Earth is spinning and moving. So, what about all the physical forces at play here? Gravity, speed, acceleration, braking force, inertia, centrifugal force. Why don't we notice any of them? All these forces are indeed at work, and not in small measure. But there are various reasons why we don't feel them immediately. The most important reason sounds paradoxical at first. We don't feel that the Earth is hurtling through space because our planet always did. In other words, the Earth's orbital speed has been almost constant since the beginning. Ultimately, this means that everything that exists or has ever existed on our planet has always been in constant motion too. Actually, we know that the Earth has been moving faster in the long past and is slowing down since then. But this is happening at such a slow pace that we don't notice any changes in the course of a thousand lifetimes. So, basically, our planet always moves at a constant speed. And an object that is constantly moving has a lot in common with an object that is not moving at all. Because the physical forces only act as long as something is being accelerated or decelerated. So, since the Earth, and everything on Earth, is constantly moving, we do not notice any of this. Neither the daily rotation of Earth, nor the annual orbit around the Sun. In a moving train, you only notice the speed when you see that the surrounding landscape seems to pass you by, or when the train accelerates and slows down. This becomes even more evident in an airplane. We do not notice that the aircraft is moving, as long as all we can see is the cloudless sky. We only feel the physical forces, sometimes quite considerably during takeoff and landing, or when the airplane makes major changes to its course or altitude. Similar effects can also be seen on board ships. People who were below deck for some time often did not realize that they were moving across the ocean, especially when the sea was calm. However, we do notice the Earth's orbit around the sun in other ways, such as the changing seasons, the length of the day, and the height of the sun. The starry sky also changes throughout the year, due to the Earth's orbit. We continuously see new stars and constellations at night, as we look in different directions of our galaxy at every time of year. Apart from that, it is a misconception that the Earth's orbital speed is so insanely high. Everything in the world, especially physical forces, such as speed, but also scales and sizes, must always be considered relative. For a mouse, the garden pond will always be as insanely large and insuperable as the ocean is for us, simply because it's a mouse. For us humans, an orbital speed of 20 miles per second will always sound unimaginably fast, because we are small compared to astronomical scales and speeds, since they have absolutely nothing to do with anything we experience in our everyday lives. Our Earth has a diameter of about 12,800 kilometers or 8,000 miles which, by the way, is 6.4 million times larger than the average size of a human. If we now assume an average orbital speed of 30 kilometers or 20 miles per second, this is a ratio to the diameter of the Earth of 400 to 1. In other words, our planet needs about 400 seconds to cover a distance of 12,800 kilometers or 8,000 miles. 426 seconds, to be precise. This corresponds approximately to seven minutes. 
So the Earth needs about seven minutes to travel its own diameter in its orbit around the Sun. When you think about that, it suddenly doesn't seem so fast. Since this video started, this Earth animation has been moving so slow that by the end of the video, after about seven minutes, it will have just covered its own diameter. An easy experiment proves how slow this actually is. All you need is a ball and a table. It doesn't matter how big or small the ball is, a marble or a ping pong ball would be enough. Now place two marks on your table, exactly as far apart as the ball is wide. Then roll the ball across the table so slowly that it takes you seven minutes to get from one mark to the other. You will realize that this is very, very slow and tiring. The first time I tried this, I almost fell asleep, and I didn't even get to the end, so the ball never managed to cover the distance of its own diameter. Unlike our animated Earth, which is still moving slowly from left to right and will have covered its diameter in a few minutes. Well, no more of that insane speed that should sweep us all off the planet's surface. But if our planet suddenly came to a standstill, regardless of whether it stopped spinning or moving around the sun, we would feel it very clearly and drastically. Because, like a driver not wearing a seatbelt in a rear-end collision, people, animals, cars, everything that is not firmly anchored to the ground would continue to move for the time being, due to mass inertia. So, our Earth moves through space quite quickly by our human standards, but in astronomical terms it is a rather slow motion. And we don't feel anything because it's a constant motion, and we all move with it. Nevertheless, Earth travels around 2.5 million kilometers or 1.5 million miles every day. I hope this video has helped a little to better understand the connections. And if someone comes along again with the assertion that the Earth can't move so fast, just hand them a ball and tell him about the seven minutes. Okay, that's it. Our seven minutes are over now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.